Hello everyone, this is Tyler with My Computer Works. Welcome back. Today, we'll be discussing new versus old Outlook or classic Outlook versus new Outlook, right? Now, this is a new development by Microsoft. Not everybody is super thrilled about it. Not everybody likes the changes that were made. So today we're gonna go over some of those changes and then I'm gonna show it on screen so we can kind of get an idea of what's going on. So let's talk about what was supposed to change or what was you know the idea behind the new outlook or the move to new outlook okay so the idea behind it was that it was supposed to obviously have a new user interface as in the way it looks is supposed to change it's supposed to look different right another thing that's supposed to be different is that it's supposed to basically integrate into the other 365 applications a little better so for example word excel uh, Copilot, Teams, all these different Microsoft apps are supposed to basically unify with it and make for a better experience, okay? It's supposed to offer some new features like snoozing emails, pinning messages, and a better search, okay? And then it's supposed to have new customization options or better customization options so you can kind of make it look the way you want um, or the way you like, right? And yes, eventually the plan is to remove old Outlook or classic Outlook and move everybody over to new Outlook at some point in the future, okay? So let's talk about the actual changes that have been made or the state of the application at the moment, where it actually is, where it stands as of right now. All right, so like I said, we just talked about all the things that were supposed to change with the new Outlook um, here. On the screen, I have what is actually changed or what's actually going on, okay? And this was uh, published April 8th, 2025 on the Microsoft support website. So this is directly from Microsoft, okay? And here they go through some of the features, okay? And we're not gonna go through every single one, uh, but they show what's available on Classic Outlook and what's avail available on New Outlook. And I think it's interesting. So pay attention here. New Outlook is the right side or this middle one here. And this is Classic Outlook. And you'll look as you actually scroll through the features. Some A lot of the features are not there yet. It's either partially available like it shows here or it's upcoming. Okay. So you'll scroll down. It's not some, some of the things are not supported. Um, partially available, not supported, okay? And this is all on the new Outlook side, okay? Going to cal calendar, uh, investigating why things aren't working, partially available, partially available, upcoming, investigating, not supported, okay? And the list goes on and on as you go through all the different features, okay? So the reality of the situation is as it stands right now, new outlook is actually not supporting a lot of the features that old outlook supported or they're partially available or microsoft is investigating why they're not working so um, as of right now my recommendation would be stay on old outlook if you don't want to lose some of these features and again i'll have the url for this page down in the description of this video so you can come check this out yourself and see what is being lost or what is not available right now. Um, again, n n older Outlook is, is winning as far as uh, what is actually available as of right now. And again, this was released April 8th, 2025. So uh, just not that long ago. And you can see old Outlook kind of still prevailing, still holding the, the, uh, the crown as far as what's actually available or what it can do, okay? Now let's take a look at, I'm gonna open up my Outlook here. Let's take a look at how to get into new Outlook or what it looks like. So if you're using classic Outlook or old Outlook, like I am here, mine's in dark mode, so it might look a little different from yours if yours is in light mode. But up in the top right, there's this little toggle for the try the new Outlook feature. I'm gonna hit it. So we can see what happens. So we're gonna switch. Okay, so here we are now in the new Outlook. And as you can see, it's mostly just user interface changes, um, as I mentioned earlier. Right now, we reviewed that list. We've already seen that a lot of the features that are supposed to be here are not there, okay? But you can tell just by the top here, um, the, the bars, like the options that it offers. Even if you do the drop down, you could do the classic ribbon. 
there's still just not all of the options that used to be there on top of that you've got the sidebar option here this was the integration with the other applications the microsoft 365 apps that it was talking about um, so that is there how functional that is i'm not fully sure because i haven't gotten to play around with it that much but it, it is at least there the ui again that's the main change a lot of those features as we reviewed in this article by released from microsoft themselves directly this on their support page uh shows just how a new outlook just doesn't offer a lot of the features that it's supposed to so as of right now like i said i would stick with classic outlook now if you switch to new outlook and you want to get back you can click help and go to classic outlook here or you can toggle it off here up in the top right again okay so i'm going to hit go to classic outlook and it's leaving the new Outlook and taking me back. Okay, everyone, that is it for new versus old Outlook. The good news is, is it's completely free. If you, well, if you have 365, you're already paying for Outlook and you have Outlook on your computer, you can go inside and switch like I showed you and try it out yourself for free. You don't have to do anything. And if you don't like it, just like I showed in the video, you can switch back to classic and use that for the time being okay and as i mentioned at the beginning of the video they are probably going to phase classic or old outlook out of the picture at some point and we'll all be moving to new outlook and so we're going to kind of have to get used to it at some point but for now we can use classic outlook and we can enjoy what we're used to okay if you liked the video if you enjoyed what you saw Hit that like and that subscribe below so I can see you on the next one. And if you're having issues with your technology, please reach out to My Computer Works via the number at the beginning of the video, the end of the video, and down in the description. We'd be happy to help you out. Also, check out the links down there for the different support pages that I left so that you can check out what's going on with new and old Outlook. Thanks for staying informed, everybody. Come check out the next video with us where we'll be covering more technology tips, more technology info to help you out and stay safe out there while you're online. Take care and see you on the next one.